Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to install WordPress onto your server. For those of you who have not heard of WordPress, it's a free blogging platform. You can either create a free blog hosted by WordPress or install their software onto your server, which is what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. So the first step in uh, installing WordPress is to actually get WordPress. So I'm just going to take and go to Firefox and you need to go to wordpress.org and they might change their site um, from when I'm making this video but you're looking for something that says basically to download WordPress so the current version is 3.2.1 so I'm just going to click on that and then I'm going to click on download WordPress over here and it's going to bring up a file to save that so now I've already downloaded that um, so that you guys don't have to watch it download and basically I have the zip file right here so what you can do with that is basically open it up in whatever extracting program you have. I'm using WinRAR and you can just take and drag the WordPress folder to your desktop and it'll take a second to extract it. So once you're done with that you can close whatever program you're using. And so now you have your nice uh, WordPress folder right there. So the next step, um, which I'm not really going to show you the entire thing, is basically you need to create a database. And you need to create it without any tables. So you need at least one MySQL database um, with your hosting plan in order to do this. Now the reason I'm not showing you is because um, within your hosting it's different for almost every... Um, hosting company how you actually create a database so if you're not sure how to do that just search in say you're using uh, GoDaddy GoDaddy create a database in Google and you should find tons of help on how to do that um, I also have a tutorial on how to set up a database um, using PHP my admin if that's how um, your hosting uses it so basically once you create your database um, which shouldn't be too much trouble for you you need to take and go into your WordPress folder so I'm just gonna open that up and we need to actually change um, the database information so we're going to look for a file called wp-config-sample.php so I have it right here and so I'm just gonna open that up in Dreamweaver now what we're looking for is right here it has um, some define um, code and what we're looking for is the database name, username, password, and host. So we're looking for these four uh, things right here. So you're just going to go in here and change these. So database name, you'll type in the database name, your username that you created for your database, and your password. Um, and then depending on what um, it'll probably be localhost for your database as well um, but this might change again depending on what host you're using so once you have that done what you're going to do um, I'm not going to type this in obviously because I don't want to uh, have a security issue but I'm just going to close that and or minimize it and what you can do now is take and click on this file so you can rename it now you don't want it to be wp-config sample you just want it to be wp-config so we're just going to delete out the dash sample. So again, it should be wp-config.php. So now that you have this, what you're going to want to do is upload your files to your server. So you're basically going to just take and upload this entire WordPress file. Um, so I've already done that. Again, so you don't have to watch it. It takes, I don't know, five, six minutes to do it. So um, instead of having you watch that, I already did that. So I'm just going to take and it's going to be at rivercitygraphics.com slash WordPress. Alright, so I'm just going to hit enter. And if all went well, it should bring up a screen that looks like this. Now, this is basically where you actually will create your blog. So you can take and under site title, just call it University Graphics. Um, I would recommend changing your username to something other than admin since you probably will get hacked if you do that. They already have half of your. Uh, half of your login there, so I'm just going to make it River City Graphics, and then I'm just going to make it test123 as the password, which is apparently weak, which is true. Test123, and then I'll just type in rivercitygraphics at yahoo.com. And then you'll probably want to check this, um, allow my site to appear in search engines like Google, um, because obviously you want search engine traffic, so you'll click that box, and then click install WordPress. And now you can see um, if this comes up, and says success then you've successfully installed it so then you hit login it'll take you to a login screen and make sure I got that right test one two three click login and here is your WordPress dashboard so now if you want to actually go this is basically how you create all the stuff uh, in WordPress how you can make um, posts you can just go to here to post and like create a new post um, add new and then basically if you click up here it'll take you to your blog so this is just the default theme that um, WordPress comes with so basically you're ready to start blogging right away and you can download themes and kind of pimp out your blog um, depending on how you want or create a custom theme 
but this should get you started. Um, so again, you would just go to, if you wanted to link to this, be rivercitygraphics.com slash WordPress, and that's where your blog lies. Now, you can take and change that uh, root folder to something um, like blog, which would make a lot more sense. You'd go to rivercitygraphics.com slash blog to get to the blog. Um, I um, would recommend installing it first and then changing the name uh, just so that you make sure that everything goes well. Um, it says that you can do this, um, change the actual folder name, but uh, make sure that you don't update any files, like especially if you're doing it in Dreamweaver, uh, it may ask you to update file links. Don't do that because it will ruin it and it won't install correctly. Um, which brings me to another thing I wanted to mention. Um, if you do have an issue with installing it, um, just take and go to your database that you created and delete all of the tables that it put into that database and then you should be able to reinstall it. Um, also, some servers for whatever reason aren't running the necessary PHP, um, basically the, the newest PHP version um, on the server. I know like one in one hosting for some reason isn't running it and some other ones. Um, if that's the case, I'm not going to show you how to fix it here um, because I don't want to confuse people because this is just kind of a minority that would have this issue. Um, basically you need to write in two lines of code into your HT access file um, that basically trick your server into thinking it's running the right PHP and then it will run this. So just search in um, WordPress HT uh, access in Google and you should be able to find how to change the version um, if you're having that issue. So um, also if you're having any other problems just put a comment down below and I should be able to help you. Um, so I hope you guys learned something, hope you guys get this installed correctly and can start uh, blogging because WordPress makes it really easy to just get started right away. You can see that that took us um, five minutes if you had to download everything um, like I did maybe 10-15 minutes. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial.